How lovely to see you. So lovely, lovely to, to see you. You scrubbed up very well. Thank you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I own still smells of smoke. Does it? Oh, yes, everyone, everyone says that. A washing that. session. Yeah. yeah. The, the, so, right. uh, where's your head now? What time is it in your head? Um, I'm, I'm OK. I got back around noon yesterday, mm. which was Wednesday, wasn't it? And then um, I had loads of sleep last night. Good. So, Good. I'm actually feeling a lot better. You've come That's back true. and you've gone straight into panto rehearsals. Well, not straight into. I open, I think it's next Tuesday. Day. At yeah. the moment, Anita Harris is playing me right. and Marty Webb is playing her. It's Where about this, complicated. Is this is uh, th Theatre Royal Windsor. Right. Uh, um, so they've made changes to the script. You obviously have. haven't been able to see any of them. Um, well, I've seen, I, I've seen the script. I was allowed half an hour with it a day uh, in the medical hut in the jungle. Oh, were you? So, yes. Oh, that's so, uh, good. I've sort of, I've, I've got my lines down, except they've now rewritten quite a lot of them. So yeah. I'm going to have to sort of relearn that. So after all that, there's no rest for you? Uh, no, I was saying, I I left home in October and I won't be back till January because we were doing the chase up until um, the day before I flew out to Australia. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's just intense at the moment. Yeah. I mean, since Bradley spent most of the year doing Doctor Who, mm -hmm. we had to do the chase when it was possible yeah. for him to do it, and mainly that was the back end of the year. So right. when do you go back so, to the studio with the chase? Um, we are filming uh, celeb shows and, in fact, the next Christmas special, I think, in April, <laughs> um, probably at Television Centre, I would imagine. Mm. And then we are back at Elstree doing the daytime shows in, in, in May. So when... This reared its head initially. Mm. Did you have the chance to discuss it with the chasers? Um, I didn't discuss it with... I discussed it with Mark, um, who, who knew about it. I mean, originally I had said, I will never do the jungle. I said, there's not enough money in the world. Um, and then... Um, and suddenly there was. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, wasn't, it wasn't the money initially. It was... It, um, my agent said, look, they want to take you to lunch. Just go to lunch with them because they work on other things mm -hmm. and, you know, there might be other things that they want you for. So I went to lunch and they were just absolutely delightful and, and made it sound as if they really wanted me. Uh, and they said, you know, we'll look after you, it'll be OK. And I found myself thinking, you know what, I can sort of actually imagine doing it where I'd never been able to imagine oh, myself doing yeah. it before. Mm. Um, and uh, so I said, yeah, you know, I'll do it. Uh, it took um, nearly another month before everything was, was sorted mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Mark was in touch with me saying, you know, you really should do this. And I was like, yeah, I sort of want to, but I'm not sure. Um, and uh, so Mark was told, I also told Paul, mm. um, don't think I told Sean or Jenny, but they, they, they kind of figured it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, and going over there, when you, when, you, uh, when you walked in and we all watched that initial struggle, and everyone says, you know, the adjustment is tough, and, and, and you walk in and think, yeah. oh, my God, it really is small. Yeah, we're here. Uh, yes. It was just, um, you know, the day... I mean, the day had been kind of hilarious, but at the same time... Um, you know, it was disconcerting doing the hellhole thing, putting mm -hmm. my hand in with the spiders and everything. Um, and um, then when we walked into camp and we were just walking and walking, I had not had much to eat that day. Um, and strenuous exercise on an empty stomach tends to make me wretch anyway. Um, and uh, we were just walking and walking and just going down and down and down, and my spirits were going down yeah. and down and down with us. Um, and I went quite quickly from, I want to win this, to, I really hope I get voted off first, to, get me out of here now. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't process it. Nothing happened that I should not have expected. Um, it was just making the whole thing real to myself and just kind of standing there going, OK, I've got to sleep there. Yeah. Here's my bedroll. Mm. I don't even know where to start. I mean, it took me ta ten... No, it took me two days just to realise I had a sleeping bag. To process I mean, it. really, I was just kind of crawling under the cover mm. of the bedroll, wondering why I was so cold. Oh, it was no. just... Um, I, I just... Really, all the little details just had to be worked out in my head and it took some time. You could really see the change in you, though, as soon as, you know, for us watching, as soon as you opened up about it. And, and yeah. I guess you formed some incredible friendships oh, in there. Oh, the people were by instantly. far, by far the best thing. The people were... I mean, the people I was in Snake Rock with were just immediately so protective mm. and so reassuring. And it was instant, and, you know, wasn't it? Yes. It really was. And, and they just... You know, I do not expect to make friends that quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and such fantastic people. 
Um, I mean, Rita, you know, who is young enough to be my daughter, and she was sort of like my mum, uh, and it was brilliant. You were, uh, you were, Nick, you got on very well Nick, with Nick. Yes. Oh, I adore Nick. I will not hear a word against Nick. Uh, he was so... I get the feeling that whenever you put Nick in a group of people, he just immediately assumes that his role is take care of them and yeah. look out for them. Mm -hmm. You can um, see that. And he was, he was just so... He was protective of anybody who needed it. I mean, Malik and James sort of became surrogate sons to him. Mm. Uh, but, you know, he could see I was struggling and he was just immediately so supportive. You, were, you can see your line coming. The line, I'll have a go at this, I'll have a go at this, I'll have a go at this. That's my line, mm -hmm. that's it, I'm done. Yeah. Well, the first one... Um, in the, what they called monstrous monoliths, um, and the first thing they dropped on me was, was gunge, and it was just some green gunk and fish guts. I still haven't quite washed the green gunk out of my bra. Um, <laughs> that's, that, that needs a proper washing machine with hot water. <laughs> Cold water from the pump and a bottle of something called wilderness wash. It's <laughs> <laughs> not quite going to get what the green gunk. I, I promise you. Oh it's, it's, my you can goodness. use it. You use it for cleaning the dishes. You use it for washing clothes. You can use it for washing yourself and the shampoo. Oh, multi-purpose. Uh, we, kept, we kept running out of it and saying we need more of this stuff because at the moment we started scrubbing chopping boards with, with um, you know, soap or yeah. shampoo. No, oh shampoo. We, we, we were washing chopping boards with shampoo. Harriet was good at that. <laughs> you um, you didn't go in, as you've said, you didn't go in there to uh, to further the knowledge of autism. No, I didn't um, really. But you were happy to very happy to talk about uh, it. Yeah, my feeling was I didn't want to sort of go in and say, excuse me, folks, I, I, I need you to know that I have this frightfully interesting condition and you must all listen to me talk about it and then you must all accommodate it. Yeah. But it was like, if people wanted to talk mm. about it, if people wanted to ask me about it, I was very happy to talk about but it. But it had a massive effect back it home. Really it did. seems to have, it doesn't really, it? It really, really yeah. did. We were yeah. driving out of camp, my brother said, you have no idea how bonkers it's gone. Yes, mm. it really has. One, um, one supporter, uh, whilst uh, I was in the, the jungle, um, was 11 11-year-old superfan Joseph Hughes. He also lives with autism and uh, whilst Dan was on the, uh, on the show, he wrote an open letter. Mm -hmm. And I've got the open letter here for you. My name is Joseph Hughes. I'm 11. You know about this letter because we've read do. this to you before. But anyone who's maybe missed this one. I live in Preston, Lancashire and I go to a specialist school. I was diagnosed with autism when I was five. I like to watch you on the chase and now I've been watching you in the jungle and I think you're very brave for going into the jungle. I couldn't go in there because there are too many bugs. You are very clever. Sometimes people are mean to me because I'm autistic, but watching you makes me see that other people have autism too, and maybe I can have a cool job like you when I'm older. Do you like that Thunderbirds? So I love them. My favourite is Thunderbird 2. Do you have a favourite Thunderbird? I think Thunderbird 2 is my favourite. Is that the big fat one that all the other ones can go in? Yeah, it's got Thunderbird 4 <laughs> like, inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. he, uh, and he says he's drawn you a picture, so let's bring him in. In he comes with his mum, Kate. Good morning, both of you. Ooh. How very lovely to see you. <laughs> now, would you like to... Uh, Joseph, would you like to show Amber... That picture? lovely there picture you you've drawn. And that, so tell her what you've drawn. I do my version of Thunderbirds. I make on my iPad I, all the time. I make them, made them by myself. That's really You're good. Very clever. That's absolutely brilliant. That's that is better than I could have done. That. <laughs> That's super. Let's uh, can I show that? Can I, Joseph? Can I just show that to everybody watching so that you can see see the picture? Because we've got um, there we are. We've got Thunderbirds uh, one up the uh, up the top here. Thunderbird fives there. There's uh, Thunderbird two, two over there. there yeah. Fours in the water. So you are a massive Thunderbird fan. What's well, it we like? We knew that uh, last time we there met you. Are. you. That's yours. What um, <laughs> what's it like to meet? And Joseph. Really good. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you, Joseph. I, I was saying as soon as I saw the letter, I thought, you know, I would like to write back to this kid or meet this kid. Yeah. I don't know happened. as much about Thunderbirds as you do, but I do know why <laughs> the Tracy brothers have those names they do. Do you know? No. You oh, do. good. You yes. do know. I know something. Why are they called, what are they called after the Tracy Island brothers? Mm. What are they named after? Oh, yeah, after oh. oh, you do know. <laughs> I just forgot. They're named after five of the seven original Mercury astronauts, the first five Americans to go into space. You didn't know that yeah. bit, did you? Yeah. yeah. I just love that. John Glenn, Alan Shepard, Virgil Grissom, uh, Scott Carpenter and Gordon Cooper, I think. Yeah, wow. And the other, the other two names that didn't make it were Wally Sherrard and Deke Slayton. <laughs> so if there'd been seven Tracy brothers, there'd have been Wally and Deke.
And now you know. But I love <laughs> that. You. You're sitting next to a chaser. You are? <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, isn't it? I know that, that's all. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's so lovely to see you again. Yes. And I know that, you. I know that you, uh, you've kept in touch mm -hmm. and, uh, and you've seen each other a bit this morning as well. So um, you've, been, you've been so lovely um, with, with Joseph, so mm -hmm. thank you for that. Awesome. Well done. Yes. Thank you very much. You've just been amazing. You really, we, really we have absolutely, been. We loved you anyway. And that's good. on here a few times, but, but I think the nation did fall in love with you. Did you know that the National Autistic Society had a book made for me? Um, we can't, we, we've got the book here, but we can't actually show you the inside for apparently legal reasons. Mm -hmm. But it was an A4 book of 132 pages, and it was full of messages that the National Autistic Society have had on their website oh, for me fantastic. and about me. Oh, it's good. the most amazing thing. Well, we'll get the book. Yeah. We'll get the book. Got, and we oh, might there, not, there it is. Got it. Here it is. <clears throat> here it is. So I, I don't They're know. They're going to have to bring it in, sort of throw it like a frisbee. <laughs> there we are. It says, there you go. That's, Isn't that uh, that's cool? what it says yeah. there. That's absolutely lovely. How special is yeah. that? That and is it's, so it's actually special. printed Joseph's letter at the front and it's called it The Letter That Started. I the think book. it's possibly the legal reasons would be because everybody's named. named. Yeah, in very possible. So their children's names in yeah. there. But, uh, but it's really, hi Anne, thanks for representing women that are actually autistic. Showing your struggle in the jungle has helped so many people watching it. And that just flicking through then, yeah. I can see. It's the, super. The, the super I'm going to sit down and go through it and read every it's single good. one. I haven't had a chance yet. But Thank you. Isn't that super? That's lovely. And good luck. Good luck in Panto over Christmas. Thank you very much yeah. indeed. Try and get some rest in the new year. Oh, <laughs> I do hope you get the bugs out your bra as well. <laughs> <laughs> I had my hair cut really short just before I went in in order to be able to sort of comb cockroaches out of it really easily. <laughs> I was thinking. the only woman in there with short hair and that was why. Yeah, yeah well, good it's thinking. sensible, you see. Mm.